Hello, my name is Marte and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to print out and um, prepare the model from a game called Nier Automata. And this is your HA Unit 2B character with this sword. Um, I'm not familiar with this game but this character was a request print from my wife's son. So I decided to print it out for him and, and create a YouTube video on me printing it out and removing the supports and show you the model. So let's have a look at the model after the intro. So this printed out in two pieces, the, the character itself and the sword. And the sword is just as high as the model itself. Um, I'm going to show you a time-lapse of the print and then I'm going to remove the supports and create a time-lapse of me removing the support and see how it goes. And hopefully I'll, I don't break the model too much, but let's see. enjoyed the time lapse and I'm gonna start removing the support. So the short piece came out great. There's a small vibration in the topmost part. It printed on the print plate like this. And there's some artifacts here in the top, but otherwise the piece came out pretty great. And it was very delicate as it's extremely thin model as you can see. But I'm gonna carry on with the model itself. And here I want to show you <laughs> how one of the support strands is, is coming from the bottom side. And this is a, it's not connected, but just at the bottom, um, all the way up here to support one finger. And it's quite amazing how this came out, uh, not breaking apart in the middle. So it's a very tall, very thin support. Let's carry on with the removal.
that was quite a lot of work, especially removing the supports from underneath there here and also around the graphics on the base. The supports printed on top of the graphics and it was quite difficult to remove the supports without damaging the graphics. I'm going to show you close-ups of this model. So this is a is model and here I was having struggled to remove the supports underneath the hair part and above the neck. But came out pretty good and the model looks amazing in this vertigo grey filament from filamentum and i really like this glitter or metallic shine on this filament so this is the model and here's the graphic on the on the bottom and there was a lot of supports underneath the arms and the, and the fingers uh, all uh, uh, made it I didn't have to glue anything back together so there were a lot of tiny supports I had to remove but this came out pretty good I think I'm not, and I'm not sure how this model is supposed to be posed but the sword is quite big compared to the model but that, that's the way it is designed so it's a quite big piece so yes uh, probably will make Arnar happy he's very fond of all kind of characters from video games and, and cartoons. This is the second model I've, I've done for him. So this will be my video on the Euro 2B model from the video game Near Automate. So this is a model that my wife's son wanted me to print for him and uh, of course I did that for him and he's gonna pick it up later today. But for now I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.